Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're not working back on the Mustang, but we do have some parts for the Mustang. Huge delivery from CJ Pony Parts, just arrived a couple hours ago. Let's do an unboxing. Stay tuned. I think the first obvious one to check will be this guy here. This is pretty self-explanatory. So let's rip it open and <laughs> make sure it is actually what it says it is in the box and it's not damaged. So we have a seat platform for a coupe left hand, which is correct. I guess we can mark that as being present. It seems pretty good quality. I can't really fault anything on it. This weld here is a bit messy, but that'll do the job. But yeah, first piece seems okay. That can go back in the box. And let's move on to the next one. So the next one is the big one. This has to be the floor pan, I would imagine, and maybe something else. So let's get it open and have a look. Okay, so before I get into actually looking at the panel itself, I want to address the packaging. The reason being I have watched people buy these in the States and they literally just put the actual item in a box loose and it comes completely bashed to bits. I'm not sure if this is because I've had this shipped from the States to the UK, but I'm quite impressed with the amount of packaging that the guys have used over at CJ Pony Parts. We have this material to protect the edges and they've used the sealed air packets to protect the front and back from any damages. And as you guys can see, the box itself is pretty much fully intact. So I'll put the seat platform onto the floor pan and it fits pretty good. Not too sure what this bit's all about. I don't know if mine originally has this cut out. I think it's a straight flange, but I'll have to check that out when I remove it from the car. So for the most part, it seems to be intact. The only defect I can see is this section here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut around this and come halfway down and kind of go up to about here. So all this shouldn't be a problem. Not entirely sure why this sticker is stuck over this one. This is the CJ Pony Parts number and they've replaced the number with this sticker. Hopefully that isn't something to be concerned about. You do get quite a bit of the tow board, which is good because I may not use all of this. The tow board isn't terrible, but it does have a few small holes. I think, I think it's around about here, because I think there's a flange that runs across here and the firewall kind of tow board comes down behind this flange. And I think it's this section here that is pretty bad. I think it's not too bad up here, but I might just use all of this just so I've got new metal. So this is where it gets interesting. I have no idea what's inside this one. So let's get it ripped open and see what we have inside. So what do we have? So we have the weather stripping, I think. Yeah, these are the, yeah, the weather stripping for the doors. The horn spring. Well, there's lots of stuff in this one. This is the trunk extension latch. This, uh, I think this goes between the lock and the actual mechanism inside the trunk itself. These are the automatic shifter bushes. Definitely need them. Yes, that is part of the rear trunk lock. It's a spacer. I'm guessing that will pass through that at some point. We've got the door pins. So these go onto the doors. These are what you open and close your doors with on the inside. They look pretty decent. I can see there's an imperfection on the actual shaft itself where it's been molded. Pretty cheap looking to be honest, but I guess
is this normal? This whole CJ Pony Parts logo, I was quite excited to order from these guys because when I was a kid and I dreamed about getting a Mustang, I just could not wait to order parts from this company. I know it's a bit weird, but it's what I've always envisioned. And I did expect to see a lot more made in the USA. These are made in Taiwan. So why am I buying these from CJ Pony Parts for God knows how much when I could be buying them from eBay? See, this is Scott Drake. And this is made in the US of A. So why aren't these? There's quite a lot in this box. This is the horn ring retainer. The Scott Drake hood pins, which are massive. I did not expect them to be that big. We have the Scott Drake automatic transmission shift cover which looks to be in good condition it's actually quite heavy so this can't be plastic which i thought it might have been which is quite nice these go on the yes these are the quarter post to door window seals these go on the when you open the door these go on the back side i believe Kind of where your quarter window goes up and down. I think this goes in front of that. Oh, it comes with screws as well, which is quite nice because I do not have them. Automatic shifter plate screws. So these guys go into there. I've got two of these. When I did some work on the Mustang in a previous video, I found one of these in half. Did some research, turns out these are important and it's probably the reason why my rear quart windows aren't working. So I picked up four, hopefully that's enough. We have the trunk lock cylinder. Definitely need one of them. Should have opened this box last. This is the, the good box. Daniel Carpenter restoration parts, that is door web stripping, that should be both doors. These are the door lock, the grommets that go around the door pins. This box just keeps on going. Uh, these go on the back of the door, on the side of the actual doors, just finishes the, the web stripping off and the screws are included too which is nice. The automatic shifter handle with buttons, which I'm quite excited about because I do not have one at the moment. And this feels very heavy. This is the ACP part. Seems to be okay. Don't see any damage to it. Can't wait to get parts. Once I start putting parts like this onto the car. That's when it'll finally start to come alive, I think. I wasn't sure which sealant to use for the windshield. So I got the one that CJ Pony Parts recommends. Quite expensive, but at least I know it'll work. This is the shifter cover plate. I'm not sure if I even need this, but I didn't have it. I didn't recognise it. And I think it's part of that, so I picked that up also. We have the vent window seal kit. This will probably be a right pain to do. It doesn't look too simple, but that is definitely something to do in the future. Weather stripping for something. Don't know what. Ready window weather stripping. That's definitely something that will be way down the line, but it's nice to have it in. These are rear quarter window weather stripping. Genuine Ford, I think. Official Ford product. I did not know I paid for that. That's nice. So, Daniel Carpenter, I'm guessing that is good. That's a good brand. 
it's made in the USA and it's officially licensed by Ford. So that has to be good. Right, so we have the rubber grommets. I have a few of these in the car, not many. The ones I do have are rock hard, they've totally perished. So I got the whole kit. These go in the floor pan. This is where you remove the bolts for the seats, I believe. These cover the rear shocks, the rest, I have no idea. I have some foam. I think this is for in between the weather stripping that goes around the doors, the actual on the actual roof itself, not the door. Definitely need a spare key, that is a trunk and the ignition key. I think this attaches under the hood. I thought this came with some clips to seat the ends in, but I don't see them in the packaging, which is a bit of a shame. We have the roof rail, weather stripping. So I guess this, yeah, this must go on the actual body of the car. This is what goes, basically when you shut the door, this goes up against that. And we have windshield weather stripping. Definitely need that. The one on the car at the minute is cracked. So that is definitely something to do in the future. That is very nice. So it comes with screws, I think, or some sort of clip. Not entirely sure. Yeah, I think they're clips. And they're the emblems for the for the hood itself. It's officially licensed by Ford, which is nice. I did not know that. So that should look like it just rolled off the production line. We have the actual the boot lock itself. So the rest of the stuff that I've got should slide in here and we should have a complete trunk lock which would be nice because we currently have nothing. And then we have strip cork. Oh yes, I got this because on the CJ Pony Parts video tutorials for installing your windshield and I think your rear glass as well, they recommend putting this on the inside of the actual weather stripping. And apparently you should have this around your gas tank. So. When I pull the gas tank out to do the back of the car, I will probably put some of this in and hopefully have enough to do it all. And finally, we have box number four. I honestly thought all of this was in this. Turns out it is not. I cannot remember what I ordered. There's a sheet and a half of stuff that I've ordered weeks ago. So let's have a look and see what's in the box. Oh, yes. <laughs> How do I forget about these? This is something I'm not looking forward to installing. We have the cowl repair patch panel. That is definitely. How did I forget that I ordered these? So we have one side. Oh yes, the glove box looks a bit, is it meant to look like that? We have the other side, which is not labelled up, which is worrying. This is a different manufacturer to the one I've got behind me. Hopefully we have no problems with them being different. And finally, the passenger floor pan, which looks in good shape. I think it's a, is that meant to be like that? Possibly. So I am going to go away and sort through all of this, tick it off the list, make sure it's all present and come back to you guys. Okay, so I have everything on the bench all laid out. This is all of the order in one place. Overall, I'm very happy with the service from CJ Pony Parts. The order itself took about two or three weeks to ship. Once it was shipped, it took 
five, six days and it was here and all delivered and as you guys can see has been delivered well and safe. The majority of this is weather stripping. I believe this is the entire weather stripping kit. I've had to purchase them individually because I was told, well firstly the, the kit that you can buy contain all of that was out of stock and more importantly a lot of people said don't get it. Buy them individually apparently it's better quality. I've had a good look over the majority of this stuff and it all generally apart from one main item seems okay. There's a few little things which I don't want to complain too much about. This isn't really a great finish. It's pretty pure. There's as you guys can see the edges are pretty rough. It's just not a great finish but these are cheap and I guess once these are on the car you're probably never going to really notice them. I've came across a few issues such as on this Scott Drake cover there's an imperfection in the actual chrome it's like a big piece of metal sticking up it's at the back so you won't really see it but for the price it shouldn't be there really. So the main issue is the belt line kit. I'm not going to take the box and show you guys the issues but this is the black version and pretty much every bit of the black is scuffed on every single piece. Some of the felt is actually peeling away and some of it is missing and you can actually see where they've joined the strips of felt on the other side. Not great. Uh, this was about £50. So I will be contacting CJ Pony Parts to see if I can send this back or whatever I would do in this situation. I'm not entirely sure. There's a few issues such as on this cowl piece. This is finished nicely. On this one, the flange is sticking up. I'll have to work that down. Make sure it's a tight seal. Maybe even put some seam sealer around that. But what is confusing is, if you guys can see that on camera, the stick at the back clearly is FL-P1L. This is what they substituted the item with, which is this number here. But that number is stuck over this one. So is this just the, the good one, but they've rebranded it with a different number? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I actually have got the one I ordered, or if I've got a substitute, or if they've literally just stuck that sticker on. It's a little, little confusing, but I am not sending this back. This will cost me a fortune to send this back. And I would have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks for them to get this and then probably credit the notice and then I'd have to reorder it and probably pay more shipping. It's just not worth the hassle. I guess if this is a different part, it isn't the end of the world. This and the passenger side pan and the riser, these are all made by the same people. So hopefully this should all fit easily together. This was £647.55p for all the items I was charged shipping at £432.05p bringing the total to £1,079.61p Once this was shipped and arrived in the country I was then billed by FedEx a sum of about £190 I believe that was all the taxes I think £20 or £30 was a fee from FedEx for actually handling the charges and I think it was 150, 160, something like that for the actual tax itself. So technically the tax pretty much was about 25%. So if you order something from these guys, then do expect to pay 25% extra on the actual merchandise price themselves, not the total amount. So if this was a thousand pounds plus 500 shipping, That'd be one half thousand pounds shipped but you will be charged 250 pounds roughly in tax plus a handling fee from fedex or whoever they use to ship them to this country so with that i think we'll end this one here so hopefully this has helped you guys out in terms of how much tax you probably will be paying if you got this stuff shipped to the uk and for the time being guys like always please like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,